Hello everyone, this is your Lekkala Master Uhara Gopal. In this video, I am going to talk about the recent viral message on social media platforms. Something about the alternate procedure for Pythagoras theorem, which was mentioned by Tamil poet OTR. So, let me discuss what is this alternate method. Is it really need an alternate procedure for Pythagoras theorem? Is this method proposed by Pothier is valid in all cases or not? No, let me discuss about that one. So now we all know the Pythagoras theorem is strictly related for right triangles. If you consider any right triangle whose sides are something as A, B and the hypotenuse is C. We know that in any right triangle, sum of squares of these two sides will be equal to square of hypotenuse. This only we used to mention as A square plus B square is equal to C square. With the help of this relation, we can find out the length of hypotenuse here. This relation or this theorem was proposed by Pythagoras. That is why we used to call as Pythagoras theorem. Here, when you are calculating the length of hypotenuse, somewhere we are supposed to find out the square root of a number. Only this one will motivate most of the mathematicians to go for the alternate procedure for Pythagoras theorem. Why? Because Finding the square of any given number is always comfortable and easy than finding the square root of a number. Why? Because for only some numbers, we can calculate the square root exactly. Remaining all numbers, we can calculate approximately only the two on using much calculation. Only this reason will motivate most of the mathematicians to search for alternate procedures for Pythagoras theorem. Maybe this Tamil poet also will be motivated by this reason only in my opinion. So now what this Tamil poet Pothiyar suggested to calculate the length of hypotenuse here. So whatever the horizontal length is there. So divide into 8 parts and take only 7 parts. What does it mean? 7 by 8 times of this horizontal is added to the half of the vertical will be equal to hypotenuse according to the poem what was given by that Tamil poet Pothiyar. So whether it is valid for all cases or not that what we are supposed to understand is there any limitations of using this method or not that what we are supposed to understand. Here a square plus b square is equal to c square was proposed by Pythagoras. And according to Pothier, C, which is nothing but hypotenuse, is equal to 7 by 8 times of A plus B by 2. So now let us check whether it is valid for all right triangles or not. For that, what I am doing, instead of C, I am just replacing this 7 by 8 times of A plus half the time of B. So now if you replace, what you are going to get? A square plus B square is equal to... 7a by 8 plus b by 2 whole square. Simply on applying algebraic identity x plus y whole square, we are going to get a square plus b square equal to 49a square by 64 plus b square by 4 plus 2 of these two terms. So now on simplification, you are going to get 64a square plus 64b square is equal to, have a look here, 49a square plus 16b square plus 56ab. This a square term and b square term, if you transpose to that side, you are going to get something like this. If you divide entire equation with ab, you are going to get something like this. 15a by b plus 48b by a is equal to 56. If you consider a by b as something k, so if you replace a by b with the k, what you are going to replace with b by a, b by a can be replaced with 1 by k. So now what you are going to get, 15k plus 48 by k is equal to 56. If you simplify, you are going to get 15k square minus 56k plus 48 is equal to 0. If you use quadratic formula to calculate the value of k here. So you are going to get k equal to 12 by 5 or 4 by 3 here. What is k exactly? a by b we assume as k. So a by b should be equal to either 12 by 5 or 4 by 3. The exact meaning of this one is whatever the right triangle you are going to take, if the ratio between these two legs 
will be equal to either 12 by 5 or 4 by 3 then only the method proposed by Pothier will works rest of all cases this method is not valid so but the beauty of this method is this method will definitely gives lot of confidence to the rest of the mathematicians whoever are working on finding of alternate procedure for Pythagoras this method will give lot of confidence in their findings so my dear children from this method what we are supposed to understand there is a chance of finding alternate procedure for Pythagoras theorem and you must understand the need of alternate procedure for Pythagoras theorem that is finding the square root of a number is always not comfortable that is a definitely there is a requirement of finding alternate procedure this method will give us that much of confidence of finding alternate procedure for Pythagoras theorem so my dear children hope you enjoyed this small video in the next video, we will meet with another interesting problem. Until then, take care. Bye-bye. You are like Kalamastaru. Haragopal.